How are you? Are you coping with the challenges of your daily life? Life is not always easy and especially now during COVID-19, we are often confronted with unexpected challenges we must manage. Some of us have even these challenges before COVID-19. And what makes it so difficult now is that we're not always prepared for what will happen next. I'm Rul Skuman from Ilios Ministry and I want to give you guidelines on how to manage your daily challenges and when to ask for help. Ilios Ministry is involved in consulting, counseling and developing emotional and trauma support systems in our communities. I started my career as a high school teacher and I'm still part-time involved in continued education at the University of Pretoria. It is therefore a privilege to speak to you about managing your daily challenges because I'm aware of all the challenges within the educational environment. Were you ready for the challenges of COVID-19? Many years ago, there was this television program Gladiators where contenders had to move from one position to another through many obstacles with gladiators trying to prevent them from achieving their goal. Obviously, they were willing to take up the challenge because they prepared themselves the best they can. What I will always remember of, the, of that program were the words of the overseer before the challenge started. Are you ready? And only after the knot of both the contenders and the gladiators, the challenge would begin. I must admit, I was not ready for the challenges of COVID-19. And it hit me like a perfect storm. I experienced it as a threat to my whole existence and I felt knocked down. I mean, at the beginning, it appeared as if COVID-19 was in control and the whole world and even our government only reacting to the threat of this pandemic. What made it difficult was this uncertainty of not knowing what will happen next. I felt not in control of my circumstances and my life anymore, which scared me. I felt like a prisoner in my own house. What encouraged me, however, during this diffi that difficult time was the following words of Viktor Frankl, once also a prisoner in the Nazi concentration camp during the Second World War. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Everything can be taken away from a man, but one thing, the last of human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. I realized I can take control of my life back by taking control over what's happening in my innermost being. I realized I'm faced with a global crisis and that I must focus on crisis management where this crisis is impacting my world. Many of us were not prepared for the challenges of COVID-19 and experienced unexpected losses, crises and even trauma that overwhelmed us and left us feeling hopeless and helpless. What happened to you? How are you managing your personal world at the moment? The difference between the gladiator game and what we are experiencing now is that when we are knocked down, we are not out of the game. We still can work on our resilience and can stand up again. Resilience is the ability to work through adversity in such a way that you emerge in one piece successful and perhaps even better as a result of it. You may be feeling knocked down, but you're not a failure and need to stand up again. Remember, you were not prepared for these challenges and sometimes you will again be caught off guard and out of control. You will only be a failure when you do not stand up and you quit the fight. Many of the challenges we are faced with will only be sorted out over time. The fight is still on. Therefore, 
you need to focus on maintaining your inner strength and resilience until the fight is over. You will be challenged with crises and need to improve your crisis management skills. As Martha Beck said, any deep crisis is an opportunity to make your life extraordinary in some way. Research has proved over and over again that the best way to prepare yourself for crisis and trauma is to have an effective support system. In these challenging times, it is of the utmost importance to develop your own effective support system of family, loved ones and experts to support you whenever necessary. Remember, it's your support system. And if it's not effective at the moment, you must improve it. A disaster such as COVID-19 has an impact on the spiritual, emotional, intellectual, social and physical areas of your life. These areas are acting as energizers during crises and challenges, but they can only support you when they're maintained regularly. Therefore, you need to understand your own energizers and how they are functioning to support you. You also need to invest in those who you neglected. They may be of support to you without you even realizing it. Sometimes you're feeling strong in some of these areas, but weak in another. For instance, you can be spiritually strong because of your faith in God, but emotionally feeling out of control. The impact of some of the challenges of COVID-19 may also cause a disruption in some of these areas. If, for instance, you are experiencing emotional reactions such as fear, anxiety and anger that you're not used to, it is a warning sign that you need to investigate what is happening in that area. Your emotions are not your enemies, but supporting you in facing your challenges. Therefore, you need to understand how they function. If your emotions are getting out of control and not supporting you, you need to consult an expert such as a psychologist to get them under control again. If you're experiencing strains, physical symptoms, such as chest pains or sleeplessness, you need to consult a medical doctor for help. And even also, if you have questions about God and where he's fitting into all this suffering that's taking place, you need to speak to your spiritual leader. Do not see a warning sign in an area as a threat but as an opportunity to learn more about yourself, your reaction to challenges, and how to work on improving your resilience. I just want to emphasize, do not wait until an area of your life, such as your emotions, get out of control before you ask help. There are professionals specializing in these areas that can assist you in understanding what's happening inside of you and how to get your control of your innermost being back. It's your responsibility to understand how all these areas are functioning and to take care of them when they are out of control. Find out what resources are available to help you understand their functioning and support better. YouTube videos on these subjects may also give you more insight on the importance of every area of your life. There are also support groups that will give you support during challenging times such as after the loss of a loved one, a work loss or a broken relationship or divorce. They can even support you in trauma recovery. These groups provide a safe space for you to share your hurts, concerns and challenges without the fear of being judged. Within these support groups, you will be supported 
to get a new perspective on what really happened to you and what you should do to manage your challenges. If you're from time to time experiencing overwhelming, unexpected and intense disruptive flashbacks or nightmares of a traumatic event that took place more than three months ago, you need to consult a clinical psychologist or psychiatrist. These emotional and physical reactions triggered by specific physical sensations, emotions, images, thoughts and sounds may be an indication that you're experiencing post-traumatic stress. Consult a clinical psychologist or psychiatrist as soon as possible to help you to understand what's happening to you and assist you in your recovery. We are living in difficult, uncertain and challenging circumstances. But, as Oliver Wendell Holmes said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Therefore, I want to challenge you to seek help if you're feeling out of control. Use this opportunity of challenging times to learn to know yourself better and to develop your potential. Use the resources available to manage your crises and challenges. I want to leave you with these words of Rudolf Dreikers. We can change our whole life and the attitudes of people around us by simply changing ourselves. Goodbye.